Hey guys, and welcome to my next 8-Bit Summer Let's Play. Dick Tracy for the NES. I love the Dick Tracy movie. This game isn't great, but it's not as bad as what people make it out to be. Anyway, you play as Dick Tracy, you and your boys are going to through in this town, big boy. I'm shutting you down. You got nothing on me, Tracy, and you know it. Yeah, Tracy, so why not try to get nothing on me? Yeah, she makes a lot of such windows. Okay, Tracy, you've got the assignment. Just remember, don't shoot at unarmed thugs and follow the clues. Alright, so the first case that we're going to be doing is the bogus bucks. Fake $20 bill. Yes, fake $20 bill used near Steve the Tramp's flophouse. So what you got to do is go to mug shots and find out where Steve the Tramp is. Well, he'll be at 5th and B. And if you go to the notepad, see, there's that. There's five clues to be able to get. You have to get all the clues before you can arrest the culprit. So hit the streets, so and we're going to head to 5 and B. Uh, basically drive. Okay, so 5 and B will be this way. You go... This is probably B right here. You're going to have guns and stuff shooting at you. You just got to take your time with it. Like that. And there's 5 and B right here. So, now, now you get into a little side-scrolling thing, and you got uh, Steve the Tramp's in here, and he's going to give you another little clue that like you got to do with where you're supposed to go next. So now we've got these little super punch, which is a power-up. You'll see... Ah. The super punch kind of knocks everybody out of the way. And I think you only got one life, so use it wisely. I got health right here, though, so that works. There we go. If you get, start getting low on health, you can use that first aid. See, the tramp should be... Ah. This game is hard, though. And that super punch, if it hits any other enemy, you're Steve the Tramp down here. Alright, interrogate him. The fake bill to earn that 20 unloading crates at the 9th and F pier, so that'll be your next clue. Good work, Tracy. Let me know when you've got something else. So you gotta go to 9th and F pier now. So, uh... So, so let's go this way. There's D. Ah. The guns are the biggest problem for this part right here. Basically, the piers at, at the end over here. I'm going to have to use my first aid as soon as I get in here. Now here's my ninth and F. So, there's going to be a clue up in here, right? There's going to be a clue you can use up in here. I'm curious about something. But, if you get knocked into the water, it's not going to knock you up. I'm trying to figure out how to use the uh, first aid. Uh, I don't know how to use the first aid. I can't remember. It says you don't use it on unarmed thugs, but yeah, you can use it on armed thugs all you want. And this game is made by the Disney Company, well, because the movie's made by Disney, so.
Well, we got a gun guy coming up here, so. <sighs> and this is what happens if you get a game over. And it starts to be all over again. So you only have one life. Hold on just one second, I'm gonna figure out how to use this extra, uh, this first thing. Okay, I'm back. It's really weird to use, but B, up, and select. There it is. It's really weird to use for some reason, but... You get rid of him, while we have the chance, and there's more super punches! Alright, let's try not to fall into the water this time. Here we go, we got more super punches. Jeez, this, this game is... There we go. Can be very uh hard because of the controls. But my goal is to get through at least one case per video. There's five cases, so footprints and puddle of spill green ink. There's our clue so we got a clue there. But, uh, so my, so, this would probably be done in five episodes. Because my goal is to get through one case per video. Now we just gotta get to the door. Now we have... Now we interrogate him. Fake Bill, just take crates to the Fort and D warehouse. Good work, Tracy. Let me know when you've got more. So we got to go to the Fort and D warehouse. We got our footprints and puddle of spill green ink. Now we got to go to the Fort and D warehouse. That's four and B. So just continue going this way. I think D is actually this way. There it is, Fort and D warehouse, right here. So now we just gotta hopefully find some health. So let's take our time through here. There's another clue in here. Alright, so let's get rid of him. There we go. I knew he was there, I just couldn't quite hit him for some reason. I think the clue I think the clue is further up too, so you're gonna have to try to try to take the upper pass. I think. I could be wrong. There's gotta be some health around here somewhere too. Just take your time. I like the music though. The music's pretty cool. It's got that very detective noir sound to it. 
There's a clue in here somewhere. There's the clue. <sighs> All right. So I'd say, so first things first, I want to get rid of these guys before I get the clue. For bank money, paper, and invoice from first and H print shop. So I can remember next stop is going to fifth, first and H. And we're just going to get to the door right there. So now we got to get to first and H. Let's go this way. Ah. There's a way to get rid of these guns, uh, to avoid those guns. So that's first, so we have to go up. Alright, so first is actually over here. Alright, there's there is a way to juke out the there, there's a way to juke out the guns, you just gotta. Oh, that wasn't good. There's one at first in G, so think H will be right up here. That's I, so I went too far. There it is, first in H. Hopefully there's some help up in here, or I'm going to be in trouble. There's a Tommy gun, which is cool. So let's first get rid of um, that guy. Hopefully there's some help in here, or I'm going to be in trouble. Tommy gun is basically just a machine gun, so... Alright, so let's take our time. I think there's another clue in here somewhere. And I think this should be the final clue who is, is basically going to reveal who did it. Then we gotta find out who did it. And then we go to, let's go find out where he is and then head to him. There's the clue. So let's get rid of him first. Claim ticket, 4th and B shoe repair. So that's going to be our next goal, 4th and B. So now we just got to get to the door. So now we got to go to 4th and B shoe repair. Alright, so we gotta really take our time because I'm so low on health. <sighs> really? Really? Okay, I'm I'm I can't cannot get hit again. Fourth and B will be This way. Here it is. Alright, so now we just gotta really take our time. Oh, this is ugly.
Come on, give me some help. All right, I tell you, those guys take five hits, so. All right, we can, be, we can make it through this without getting hit. I think the person that we're looking for is actually in here, so. Don't think there are any more clues. If I remember correctly, I think we got all the clues. Ah. All right, so. There we go. Oh, there is one more clue, okay. Shoes with green ink on soles being fixed for numbers. That's our culprit, numbers. So basically, after we get out of here, we gotta find uh, where numbers is hiding at and go arrest them. So we just gotta figure out where numbers is. So basically, we gotta go back this way, back to the uh, headquarters. Which is right down here. <sighs> and find out where Numbers is. And don't get hit by the car. Alright, so let's find it. Let's make sure we got all the clues. Yep. So now we just gotta find out where Numbers is. You can be an eight and J. And we got okay, we got a little bit of health now. We gave us a little bit of health. So we gotta go to eight and J. Just take our time. Fine. We gotta go this way. We can actually cool off from here for the police station. And then let's head to 8th and J. That's 7th and D. So 8th will be here. There's actually, but eighth would be here. And it heads straight up to J. Let's take another break up there. Really? I didn't even see those guns. Alright, here it is. Eighth and J. Now we gotta make it through here and arrest numbers. So let's make it through. So this is basically how the game goes, and there's five cases of this. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to take a little bit of the health, but we can't lose any more health, really, so we just got to... You can tell it's the end of the, of the, of the case, too, because we got a bunch of people... we got a bunch of gunners after us. There we go. So down here we gotta go to the bottom. Numbers is a little bit of a maze, but it ain't too bad. And if you get if you actually shoot a thug without a gun, an unarmed thug, you'll lose health. So be prepared for that. There we go. All right. We should be at the end now.
Really? There we go. Now we just go down here, and he should be right on the other side over here. So, we are just about done with this, uh, this and done with the case. And there's some health. I feel better now. So that B do there we go. Now we're definitely ready. We shouldn't have any more problems with this. This is oh there he is. This is his last resort. Boom. That's the rest numbers. Okay, Tracy, you got me. I did it. Great job. Only you could have figured out that one out, Tracy. And so does the end of the career of another one of Big Boy's thugs. And then there would be if you, uh, if you just, there's a password for you, but we're not gonna I want to your hoods, big boy. Your days are numbered. Back off, Tracy, or things may get too hot for you. Yeah, Tracy, like me, for instance. Anyway, so we're gonna end it here. We'll come back, we'll take on the second case, which is Torch Song Tale. Nightclub Torched. Owner says Lips Manalist did it. So we're gonna be, come back, we're gonna look at the mugshot, find out what Lip Manalist is, and start our investigation of the nightclub being torched. So have a good day, I'll see y'all next time. Let's play Get Tracy for 8-Bit Summer. This is DKS3 the Crazy Gamer, signing out.